Hi everyone, um, this is Luke Francis and I'm making this video on behalf of Chris Rock. I want to show him how I'm um, using infrared cameras. You could um, remove atmosphere effect from the camera from the camera view and you could be able to see the, the object much more clear and much more um, easier but these are the best these are the best videos that I get online that I'm um, showing the um, what infrared can actually do to a heavy atmosphere conditions on the on the earth so watch the video and, and let me know if you like it or not okay so what we're gonna do we've got our FLIR BTS and our uh, two video cameras set up together and so we're also going to take a lovely little battlefield smoke grenade this is just a basic airsoft grenade it costs about 25 bucks but uh, we're going to test and see if the flare unit can uh, see through it in theory because it's working off of heat not light it should totally ignore anything coming out of this smoke grenade She works. Ah, shit, that's an awful mark. Okay, let's go get it before it gets too hot. God, I hope that unit can pick me up now. So here we are. On the other side of the street. So does that work or what? So we're looking at a FLIR BTS unit here. This is one of their largest units. You can get this is with a 640 by 480 detector. And this has interchangeable lenses and is one of the few ones that you can use with uh, both eyes on it. This is essentially like an upgraded version of the Scout TS series. The big thing is the lens. This here is a 35 millimeter lens. You can get a 60 and 100 millimeter lens as well. And those will reach out a long way. The nice thing about this is you get adjustable focus. So the system is an auto focusing for you. If I want to look at something that's right at my feet, I can do that through the BTS. And with the 100 millimeter lenses, I can look well over a kilometer for these. It's a bit more to carry, but with the manual focus and the high resolution detector in it, you get some of the clearest, sharpest thermal images out of this unit.
Yeah, I hope you like it and let me know what you think in comments. Um, it shows that um, this video actually, actually shows that if you have a, um, a infrared camera, it's a possibility that when you that if you um, let's say use well use it to view the Chicago sh um, shoreline, you could use the infrared to see the complete um, the bottom of the of the Chicago buildings. And this could eliminate all the nonsense that the globals have been talking about curve and all that drama. So let me know what you all think. Write in comments.